Your, your age is, is you're 110? Will be. <laughs> <laughs> I will be, y'all. Who, who was your parents? Who was your folks? My daddy was John B. Shirley, and my mother was Molly Weiser. John B. Shirley and Mary Weiser. Molly. Molly. Molly Weiser. Molly Weiser. Now, are they, are, are they buried here in Warren County? Both buried right down here. At Jacksboro. Well, she's from Cannon County. Oh, okay. I guess she's they're from, down there around, well, East Cannon County. I think they call a name. What is There's another little name for it. The creek goes by it. But the Cannon County, I put it, she's from Cannon County. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> where'd you go to school at? Caney Branch. Caney Branch. And the last year that I went to school, I went to school in Deckard, Tennessee. Deckard? The last school I went to. Okay. Well now, uh, Caney Branch eventually closed up and, and, and the folks went over here at Jacksboro. Well, when, it, when it closed up, my kids was old enough to go down here. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. And when it closed, my kids, I had kids old enough to go. Ah, okay. And, uh, well now, what has been your occupation all these years? What do you want to call it? Homemaker? Housemaker? I, just, I never worked at public works in my life. Okay, so you just you just cared for the home? Oh, I sure did. Okay. I worked. Made gardens and raised pigs and calves and all that kind of <laughs> stuff, whatever you want to call it. Okay, now going to school at Caney Branch, who are some of the teachers that you remember? Let me see. Albert Cunningham. And Ed Baker and, and Cal Williams. Okay. And I guess that went from and, um, one through eight, I guess, didn't oh, it? Yeah. And Isabel Arledge. She used to be Isabel Gilly. Okay. She married that Ar what's his name? That Arledge man. Teton? No, Teton for Uh and she taught school. Okay, I, I I know who you're talking about. I can't call Lonzo. You. Lonzo. Lonzo Arledge. Lonzo Arledge, okay. And she taught the garage school to her and Martha Elton. Okay. Did you have any unusual experiences in school? Anything out of the ordinary? Plays you were in or well, any we unusual plays. happenings? Oh, we had plays, yeah. Did you play any different parts? I played in them. I said speeches and different things, but I, I don't... I hadn't thought about it in so long, I don't remember just what this was about. Okay. I remember I remember a little article in, in something where about somebody pulling a hog through Katie Branch schoolhouse, uh, uh, through the window or something. But uh, I don't remember that. Okay. That's something I don't know about. What were some of the games back then that, that the school kids played? They played ball and we played Mostly croquet. Ball. Okay. Mm -hmm. Played different kind of ball. We played what you call hide and seek. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jump the rope. About the same thing. Hopscotch. Have nowadays. Uh, what were your subjects in school? Reading, writing, arithmetic. Oh, we had reading and writing and what we call physiology and. Uh, Physi who? Physiology. Oh, okay. And geography. We had United States history, we had Tennessee history, and we had arithmetic and spelling. Uh-huh. We had plenty of studies. Do you remember some of the people that you went to school with? Oh, yeah. Some of your classmates? Oh, yeah. I remember them very well. But uh, I think the most of them are dead, all of them except... Uh, are there any right in this area here that we might uh, know? George Case's wife was one of them. Okay. I heard me was buddies. And, uh, one time in school, I mean, grew up together, and Ethel Whitlock. Okay. And uh, Minnie Bell Cunningham used to be married Lonnie Gilly. Okay. And uh, Lear Burks. You remember Vernie and Lear? Did you ever know him? I've heard the name Vernie Burks off and on through uh, Dad. And him and one of my <coughs> brothers was always into something at school as buddies. And Lear and me, <coughs> so we. We went to school together. Oh, I could name some of them. Okay. Some's dead, like I said. So, primarily you went to school to Caney Branch and finished up at Decker. Yeah. Okay. That's the only place I went to school. Now, the first year I went to school was in Mount Memphis, but that's just when I was like Georgia. Uh -huh. 
That's my first school. Okay. Uh, now, what was your husband's name, full name? Ernest Lee Barnes. Ernest Lee Barnes. Okay. And where did you meet him at? Caney Branch. At Caney Branch. Was Church. he one of the students also? No, no. He never went to school. He went to school down here. Oh, at Jacksboro. Yeah. Okay. But, but we met at Sunday school. We all, we all went to some school and church over there. Okay. So that's where I met him. So you met him, and, and, and so uh, uh, you done a little courting. Yeah, a little bit. A little hand-holding and so forth. What are you so, going to call it? Okay, and then uh, uh, you got married. Yeah. Uh, where did you get married at? Here in Ward County? Yeah, over right on Jim Cunningham's place. You know where that's at? Over at Candy Branch. Jim Cunningham. You know where that place is? Just no. this side, you know where Tom Aird's wife lives? Yeah. But the old house ain't there. Okay. But that's well, now, was he a squire? He was a preacher. He was a preacher. Baptist preacher. Okay, preacher Cunningham. Mm -hmm. Preacher okay. Jim Cunningham. So you you said your I do's over there. Yeah. Sitting in the buggy. <laughs> in a buggy? Sitting hmm. in the buggy. That's where we got married. Really? Yeah. He come I, out. He come out and stood by the buggy. You're kidding? No, I'm not. How come you didn't go in the house or on the porch or? I, I don't know. People didn't. You just in a hurry I've to seen get people married. Get, I knew. I knew some more that got married sitting in the. You buggy. was just so much in love and everything that you just. Ah, uh, I guess that's it. I <laughs> Well, that's unusual, know. though. Well, it was, but I knew two or three that had done that. Uh, they said, do you take this, man? Yeah. How about this? Yeah. yeah. Man, hit the horse and go. I bet you're cool skin our lives. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, if I ever got in trouble, it's cool to be for laughing and talking. <laughs> well, now, how many children were born uh, to three. your marriage? Three. Three children. And they are... Ozell. Ozell. Uh, Wilson, now. Wilson, okay. And Irene Bogle. Okay. And uh, we, uh, a lot of folks called him Jack. That's where he went through school, but his real name was George. George. George Wellington Barnes was okay. his name. Are they, but they all, are they all still living? No. Okay. And we called him G.W. A lot of people. Well, I mean, I did. But he was nicknamed and went through school by the name of Jack. Jack. They okay. brought him by Jack. Okay, uh, he's not living. No. Okay. Uh, now, how long have you lived right here? Or well, let me rephrase that. Say, how long have you lived in the Jacksboro area? Just nearly <laughs> all your life. Well, I. It's like I said. Part of the time when I was growing up, my mother died before I was two years old, and part of the time when I was growing up, uh, I stayed with uh, with my grandma till she got really old, mm -hmm. or disabled, and then I went and I'd stay, I had two aunts. One of them was my mother's sister, and she lived in Mac Memo, mm -hmm. and her husband was Eddie Lammers, and he used to be postmaster there. And then him and Judge Smart used to be lawyers, and I used to stay with them. And then uh, then I had one that married Uncle Jess Burks, he used to live down there where Hullets live. Mm -hmm. And I used to stay with them some. And I've lived on the mountain. I've lived here. And so you've just lived in and out of the area yeah. nearly all your life? Well, just see, when my around. mother died, there was just us kids, and we stayed with my grandmother to these boys. I had three brothers older than me. Okay. And when they got old enough, my daddy took them, and he bought the place over there where Mr. Barr lives. You know where that's at. Mm -hmm. And he took them boys and moved on it. Well, I just come home ever so often. Uh-huh. Till I got pretty good size, and then. Okay, now let's say you're uh, you're a, a young lady back then. In other words, you're probably 10, 15 years old or something. And let's walk through the Jacksboro area from here uh, towards uh, the, the old store. But what was up here? What were the churches at now? What was there? Well, the old church was there. That... Okay, well, now was the out. old college gone? Yeah, the old, uh, I can just barely remember them little dormitories, and uh, I I can just remember where they sit. Okay, the dormitory sat on this side. Kind of out in front of the old church house. Okay. I just barely remember that now.